What is up guys, we are here with Dofus again. Um, I'm gonna start this new little series where I'm gonna go over all the classes, at least I try and go over all the classes, and I go over all the elements. Um, to start off we're gonna go with a strength IO because it's the only character that's actually properly geared right now. So uh, I'll be gearing and resubscribing all my accounts tomorrow, so don't worry about that. Um, we're gonna go over the strength IOP right now. Uh, as strength IOP, you wanna put all your points into strength. However, I've done everything into wisdom and I scroll strength, so. Uh, oh, I got some points to spend. <laughs> I didn't know that. So you yeah, want to put all points to strength, at least 300 strength. Uh, you can go more if you want. Uh, I would suggest going to 300 and putting the rest into wisdom or vitality, whatever pleases you. If you think you're lacking vitality, even though gear already gives amazing vitality, especially strength gear at uh, end game, can give you up to like 4,000 health just from the gear alone, not scrolling or anything. So, what you want to do is scroll strength and put point, pump points into strength until it's 300 and then go with wisdom or vitality. Now for the spells, um, you might see some spells that you've never seen before because they just did a patch and they kind of change the whole way IOPS work and one very noticeable change is um, where is it concentration is now a level 21 spell so oh I didn't level it why didn't I do that I'm sorry let's take it all shitload of spell points let's level it uh, let's level pressure as well so, when you start out, your main spell is going to be Pressure, which you get at level 1. And you're going to be using it all the way until Concentration. And then you're going to use Concentration because it's 2 AP and you can do it 3 times uh, on one target. And you can do it 4 times in one turn in total. Uh, you can only do it twice at level 5 and 3 times uh, in total. So. Uh, you can get two concentrations and one pressure off with the uh, global set 7 AP. Um, so yeah, I didn't level jump either. What? This is such a great guide. <laughs> there we go. Um, intimidation is something you want to level as well. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend leveling leveling it. Um, I don't know, leveling below 100. Um, after level 100, I would definitely recommend leveling it because it's a great getaway spell. Um, it only costs 2 AP and it pushes back 4 cells, so it's very vital if you're leveling in Fry Just and you need a quick getaway if you don't have release or um, if you're only against one enemy, then I would suggest intimidating instead of jumping. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a new um, spell for the IOPS. When a target receives spell damage, it suffers an extra 20%. Um, this, can, this can work in two ways. You can use it as an area of effect kind of spell to do splash damage on other mobs, but you gotta stay away because it will hurt you as well. So that's one thing to look out for. Um, so you want to level up concentration at level 21 and you want to use it as a, a main leveling spell I would suggest getting strength and uh, plus damage because this spell um, greatly um, what should I call it increase against summons huh that's something new this spell greatly um, benefits from plus damage since it's I don't know it's kind of low damage at first um, yeah. 
friction. You, you kind of have to go over all these new spells, because there's some that I don't even know. Um, power is something you should level ASAP as well, as soon as you get it, as soon as possible. Um, it's a 3 AP spell that you can cast on yourself or allies within a 0 to 5 range and it will give them 200% power, 200% um, basically increased damage so um, I don't really know how much like in numbers it would add up there's like a formula for it on the forum so you just have to you'll just have to see that for yourself i'm sorry if i'm kind of stuttering i'm not english so i still have some problems with some words precipitation precipitation well sorry um i don't know about this spell it gives you ap it gives you actually 3 ap uh, what it says 5 AP it's not true it only gives you 3 AP because it costs 2 to cost it so you lose 2 and you gain 5 so basically you only gain 3 AP <coughs> sorry for um, the duration of that turn and during that turn you can't use any weapons or you can't use Ab's Wrath because it would be too overpowered uh, what you can do is pop this on and spam uh, whatever spells you got. And the most noticeable change of the IOPS or strength IOPS is the sort of IOP which is now level 80 instead of the usual level 90, what it was before. And it now only costs 4 AP at any level. So previously IOPS were. Um, how should I say it? IOPS um, only function well if they had 10 AP because of sort of IOP. It's modifiable. Um, actually, I don't think it's a modifiable range anymore. So uh, that, that kind of sucks, but it's still awesome with only 4 AP costs. Uh, it's quite a lot of damage and uh, it has an area of effect of 3 in a cross kind of pattern. Uh, it doesn't hurt you, but it will hurt um, allies, so you gotta watch out if there's like a friend of yours next to a mob and you wanna hit it, make sure you don't hit him. And just a quick little, uh, just quick for your information, FYI. I have now got Sword of Fate at level 90. This was a straight line kind of spell that would hit everything in one line. Um, now it's kind of modified, it's kind of like IOPS Wrath, only it's got a shorter cooldown duration, it's only got two turns. Um, it's just one turn, because it, it's actually two turns, like the first time you cast it actually counts. And you gotta wait a turn and then you can cast it again. So. As you can see here, two turns, straight line only, and it's 4 AP. Basically, whenever you cast it, it's 36 to 40 damage, so it's sort of like Strength Storm uh, as a critical. But when you cast it, you get bonus damage to that spell. So, um, as you can see, it increases by, I don't know how much, it's kind of bugged out. They kind of have to fix that. And it will deal bonus damage. Um, based on the target's eroded HP, so HP becomes eroded. Um, it's kind of new with a patch. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> you just have to Google it. Uh, I'll try and explain it real quick. Basically, there, there are spells that make uh, the target's HP eroded, and they can't heal back whatever they lost. So it will do a little percentage, 20% of the target's eroded HP, HP sorry, as uh, fire damage. So yeah, you, you kind of have to experiment with it so you can understand it for yourself. Um, 
one. Sword skill is something you should get, but don't level it unless you're at least level 100. Now, for the set, I would suggest getting um, a global set from level 1 to... Uh, sorry. An adventure set from level 1 to 20, then a global set from 20 to... It kinda depends. If you wanna level real quick, and you should get a press pick set at 38 and get some gold pieces in. And you should keep the press pick set until at least level 60. So you can get a uh, Pippin's blo Pippin blob set and get some royal mess. <sighs> Sorry, not royal. Uh, yeah, it, it is ro royal gold uh, cape and hat and get whatever weapon you want, doesn't really matter. At level 100 you um, well, you could use this set from level 60, the Pip and Blob set and the Royal uh, Gobble pieces. I keep trying to say Royal Mastogob for some reason, I don't know why. So you could use the Royal Gobble head and cape and the Pip and Blob set until 80 and go for a Royal Pip and Blob set with um, Terdala pieces. Or you can keep the set all the way to 100 and get a Chief Borg set. Uh, Chief Borg set you can keep until 120 and then you should get um, custom set pieces. You can look around the forums for uh, suggestions. I would suggest a Aikido medal. Uh, I don't have anything to show you what it looks like, just go by the name Aikido Metal. Rings, I don't really know too well. I would get a Mua Frank, because it's level 126. Um, belt, Mua Belt. Uh, you should get Mua Boots. So get an Aikido Metal, because the Mua Amulet is a bit too high. Get a Solar Monk at 120. Uh, it will have no wisdom, but it will have a lot of vitality. It will have a lot of initiative, a lot of strength. Uh, get a Pink Claw and keep it until. Um, damn it, what's that called again? Kilaris Sword, something like that. I think it's like 169. Um, move offering. Get a Gilano, of course. Minus intelligence for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. And get uh, whatever cape you can get with strength and wisdom on it, basically. And then switch to a move off cape. At 143, get the full move off set. Hands down, the best uh, strength set you can get. Um, we'll give you 10 AP. Mine gives. 474 strength. It's actually 414 because I got the mount. Uh, 171 wisdom and some other stuff that you don't really care about. So that's it for spells and sets. After 143, you kind of should know what you're going for. You can. Uh, go with Fuji set if you're um, going to go hybrid, if you're going to go agility and strength. Um, huh, you can get the Kim, uh, Inky Veil, you can, you can, uh, <laughs> I'm stuttering again, sorry. You can go with all kinds of possibilities um, at endgame. You should really know what you should get at endgame by then, so... Um, I guess I'll show you guys my hits. Let's go into 75. At level 143. I'm full wisdom, by the way, so you guys will hit more if you're full strength. Um, Jesus Christ. Doesn't that look awesome? The new animation. So with a pink claw, you're gonna hit, um, I'm gonna broccoli it real quick. With a pink claw, you're gonna hit 500 buffed. Um, that's without strength, you should hit like 600, almost 700 per hit, if you're full strength, so 
Uh, concentration without any buffs will be pretty awesome. Intimidation. Uh, that's with pushback damage, by the way. So also a notable, noticeable change with um, intimidation. It has range now, so you can cast it uh, two squares away. And Wrath is gonna do about two thousand. Uh, that's in full wisdom, by the way. So yeah. Um. Shit, can I fight all this thingy? Okay, I did. So pressure is gonna do about 200 a hit. Sorry, can't really show it. I'll get on this one real quick. Oh, that's only 500. Oh well. Pressure 200 per hit and. I'll quickly get on this one. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, sort of high up is gonna do around 200, uh, 250. With um, what you call it? It's full wisdom, so you're gonna hit more. You're gonna hit about 300 almost with a good move offset. Uh, jump is something that changed as well. Uh, it gives minus resistance now, so you can jump next to the target. As you can see down at the bottom right corner, it has minus 15% resistances. So I can hit it and I can do like 400 not buffed at all. So uh, precipitation. I really hope I pronounced that right. If you cast it on yourself, boom, you get AP, and you can use it, uh, let's do 3 times this. I can't do this anymore, so I can do sort of fire up. And there we go, it's dead. Um, so, so that's kind of it for these strength IOPs. Um, I kind of show you my hits on 143. Um, I showed you my stats and I talked about gearing and leveling. Um, leveling spots you should go in Incarnum or uh, where I like to go is the Sandy Beach up until 20 or 30s. And then I like to go to the Lousy Pig Plain and kill some lonesome Lousy Pigs. Uh, be aware from the Lousy Pig Knights, they hit about 50. Um, they got a one turn cooldown, so you know, first they'll hit 50, then they'll push you back for only like 5 damage or something, then they'll hit 50 again, and it keeps repeating like that. So, they do give a lot of XP, so yeah. Uh, there's also piglets now with a new change, so you can fight some lonesome piglets, they shouldn't hit you too much. What you can also go is to the Mushed Corner at the Fekka Temple, kill some Mushes, they don't hit much at all. Um, if you can leech, I don't really support leeching that much, but if you can train with a friend, uh, go to Kenniger's, which should be all over this place. Um, at level 50 you can go to Fryjust uh, all the way over here. To get over here you kind of have to do a few dungeons here. So uh, you're going to do Royal Master Gob Greenhouse and you're going to do the Penguin. What is it? The Royal Penguin's Excavation. Uh, you don't have to do this one to get to uh, the Elmas Cradle so don't worry. <coughs> Doppels great way for leveling and um, crossmaster house that's kinda weird, I haven't seen them before <laughs> um, doppels, great way for leveling, you can also get money from it uh, you get tokens and you can exchange those tokens for scrolls and you can sell the scrolls um, at around level 50 to 60 damn it, why is, why is this moving? There we go. That's weird. Kind of bugged. 
You can go to Otomai Island, uh, stay at the outskirts, at the beach, and fight crabs and palm trees. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. It shouldn't hit you too much. Uh, it might be a little bit trouble, but you should be able to kill them at level 60 at least. Uh, they give amazing SP. This is actually where I leveled all of my characters. Uh, from like 70 to 100 in just a day or two, so. And at level um, 100 you should know what to level on. I mean, you can go to Fry Just. Actually, that's the best place to level until whatever. I mean, I still level there with my characters, so. Uh, I got four characters though, so it's easy for me to solo everything in there, so. And at around 120, 140, uh, you should spam Royal Master Cup Greenhouse and Gandagers and Penguins. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of it for the leveling. I think I've been over everything. Uh, what you want to go for in the gear is strength, vitality. Um, I'll go over the most important priority is uh, um, strength, of course. Then you want to look at the vitality. Then you want to look at wisdom if you're a PVM kind of guy. Uh, PvP wisdom isn't as important as resistances or as uh, lock or dodge. Um, so. If you're PVM, look for Wisdom and look for stats that increase your damage, like Power and uh, Critical Hits, not so much damage. Uh, prospecting, maybe. That's kind of... You, really, you don't really need Prospecting, but if you got your own team, Prospecting is always a big plus point, because more Prospecting is more drops. So. Um, if you're into PvP, you should look for strength, vitality, resistances, and lock and dodge, and all kind of all those kind of stats. Because um, in PvP, it's not so much about the damage you do, because you won't really be damaging a lot. Um, you'll be more like trying to tactically bring the enemies. Um, well, as an IOP, you're, you're going to damage a lot, and you're also going to try and intimidate um, people into your teammates. Uh, Glyphs, for example, uh, that's always a good strategy. Cost intimidation, so your enemy will be in the glyph, in the burning glyph of your uh, FECA friend. You know, I, all those kind of strategies allow you to get more damage, but you're not dealing direct damage if you know what I mean so what it's all about with PvP is um, avoiding damage at all costs so resistances and lock and dodge will help a lot and of course you need strength to be able to actually hit anything at all and you need a lot of vitality to survive as long as possible so that's kind of it for this little IOP strength IOP kind of guide. Um, I'll be doing more guides in the future. Of course, I'll be going over all the characters and all the ailments that I currently got. However, I've played all the characters up to 100 except for a Rogue and Mask, of course, and a Foggernaut. I haven't played those. Well, I've played those, but not until 100 yet. So, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, I know all the strategies. I know. Um, I kind of know how everything works, so if you got something to add, leave it in the comments. Um, if you liked it, write, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be doing more of these in the future. Um, I'll probably be doing an int in Repsa, because that's kind of my main at the moment. I'll be doing a guide on int in Repsa tomorrow, and I'll be doing uh, a new series called Foreman Team or something like that. I'm still gonna decide on a name. 
basically it's going to be me and my foreman team, uh, which is this IOP, a 150 kind of int in Ripsa, a 137 agility Sacrier, and 154 Inutrof, a chance Inutrof. So I'll be doing all the dungeons with my four-man team and I'll be recording it and I'll be talking about all the tactics while I'm doing the last room. I'm gonna skip all the other rooms because no one wanna see that, of course. Anyways, uh, hope you guys kinda like this. It's just me talking a lot, so I'm sorry for that and I'm sorry my microphone isn't really too great. Um, my last one broke, so... Uh, yeah, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys do. This has been Zero. I'm out.